As a business owner, managing your finances can be a difficult task. From monitoring incoming payments to keeping track on your expenses, it can be hard sometimes. But what if you could streamline and simplify this process? What if you could have all your business's bank account in one place? I am Prem and in today's video we're going to learn about multiple bank accounts in my bill book under the cash and bank feature. Let me walk you through the feature so it will be more easy for you. To go on cash and bank, we have to click on cash and bank from the navigation bar. Once we click on it, we'll be redirected to this page. Here on the left side, we can see total balance. Total balance is a total sum of your cash and bank balance. Next we have cash in hand, which is the total cash data in your my bill book account. Below that we can see the bank accounts. At first we have unlinked transactions. So what are unlinked transactions? Unlinked transactions are nothing but the amount which are not yet defined that which bank account they are from. To add a new bank account, either you can click here or you can go on the top right corner of the screen and click on add new account. A pop-up will appear and you have to enter the account name and if you wish to enter the opening balance you can enter here and then you have as of date in case if you want to add your bank details you can toggle the button on and enter your bank details if you don't wish to enter your bank details you can simply leave it and click on the submit button now your new bank account is added now let's create a sales invoice to see how it looks in cash and bank data to create a sales invoice, we'll click on sales. Then we'll click on create sales invoice. And we'll be redirected to create sales invoice page. Now we'll click here and add a party. Then we have add item button. Now we'll add an item and click on done. As we scroll down, we have this amount received column here. Let's mark as fully paid and then we have an option to select from cash and bank. Let us select bank. Now under payment received in, we get a list of our bank accounts. We can select the bank account that we are receiving the payment in. Now as we click on save, our sales invoice will be generated successfully and to see the changes, we'll head back to cash and bank. We'll select our bank account and here we can see the sales invoice details. We also get a date range filter. We can apply this date range filter in order to get a certain time periods report. Once you click on any of your bank account, under the transactions header you can see your bank account details and you get a date range filter to see the statement or ledger. Next. We have update bank details button. Once we click on it, we get an option either to edit the bank details or to deactivate account. If we click on the deactivate account, this warning popper will open. And once you check the box and click on yes, deactivate, your account will be deactivated. You can simply click on reactivate account and activate it. Just in case if you want to share your bank details, you can click on here and from here you can share your bank details like account number, IFSC code, bank and branch name. Next we have download statement button. Once you click on it, your statement will be downloaded in PDF format. Another feature that we have under the multiple bank account is transfer money. Once we click on it, we get this pop-up screen where you have to choose transfer money from and transfer money to. You can transfer money from cash to bank, bank to bank or bank to cash as per your convenience. You have to enter the amount and click on the save button and you can see that your money is transferred from cash to savings. Please note that this transfer money feature is not actually transferring the money between bank, it's just for your my bill book data. 
then we have an add reduce money button once we click on it we can add or reduce money as in we can adjust the balance in cash or any of the bank accounts we have to select from the following and then we have to select add or reduce money and then we can enter the amount once we enter the amount we can see the new balance here if we wish to add remarks we can click here and add the remarks and click on save button and that's how our balance get adjusted thank you for watching the video till the end to know more about the new features of my bill book you can click on the link in the description and wait before you leave don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon